Okay, so my task for today is actually to do some new shadows for Breeze. I, this is actually the second time I do this. I had already done some shadows, but then they were changed into this. And I think that they're not good enough. So I'll try to do something that's better both than what we had and what we have right now. And to do that, I've actually received this SVG from someone in Reddit, awesome person. And as you can see, it's really interesting because it has this concept that instead of using a radial shadow that's all around the object, we have some kind of perspective. In here, it's a bit too strong for a breeze. If you give a look to this theme, it's very nice. Let me fetch it again. I've just retweeted the, sorry, Vigero, the tweet showing the screenshot, so let me pick it up. It's very nice. But we could adapt it to Breeze to some extent. So let's try to see how to do that. So let's also pick up the the theme with no hurry in slow internet. And we can also see that how this was done is a radial gradient here, pretty normal stuff. But in here, you can see this object that changes its size and it's bigger and has a wider radius for the shadow here, which is a very cool concept that we'll try to replicate. So as you can see here, it's this thing. It looks like this when you actually use it. And it's very nice, I like it. So let's try to do something similar with Breeze. So right now the shadow is too strong and also fades out a bit. Well, why is there a double node? What's this? Okay. It fades out too slowly. So we can, first of all, let's see how the shadow was made. Like uh, it goes from this, which is 24 opacity to nine opacity and then to zero opacity. Okay. So if we want to go uh, the shadow to go faster to transparency, we can make this value lower. And as you can see, it becomes not necessarily smaller, but it's just as dark here but we can also make it slightly dimmer here as well, like this. So this is a softer, softer shadow that goes faster to zero. And if we we'll give a look to this one, this one goes from 10 to zero. Whereas our shadow right now goes from 20 to zero, passing to six. Okay. So let's do this all around. So we're consistent. So we set 20. Let's go with rounded integ integer. So it's, sorry. So it's more clear, 20, seven, Seven, zero, twenty, seven, zero. Okay. Twenty, seven, zero. Actually, I think I'll keep a uh, old version of the shadow to have some kind of reference to what was the shadow. 20 and seven. Last one, 20, seven. Okay, so 
so this is the new one still quite strong I think compared to other kind of shadows so let's just pick up the old one shit I just undid all the work I've done accidentally nice mm. oh come on I need to do all over again why is this one different it's already 20 should be 24 10 so 24 10 okay 27 27 20 7 and here as well We have a direct comparison. So this uh, is going to have the ID, where is it? Mm, what is it? Object properties. Okay. Shadow bottom right. And this is shadow bottom right four, which is which means this is a copy. So let's actually pick up some very light wallpaper to actually see the um, to better see the shadow because darker wallpapers would be less picked up this one i usually use and restart plasma shell it's still a very dark shadow but i mean I could live with it. Still very dark though. Yeah, let's see. Okay, now let's see if we manage to do some cool gradient stuff. So we can, as an example, let's try here at the bottom to make this one. So this gradient goes from here. Can we actually edit the gradient? How does this work? Uh, no, no, what happened? Let's revert. Okay. Okay. So let's make this like. Let's make it like this. We put it to this line and this one to this one. This one to this one. Okay. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And here. Here and here. Okay. And now we should try to make this. Okay. But what the guy does is to actually make this one different from the other one. So you can see that you can fade out a bit. In this case, what are we going to do? The side should be, the bottom should be, should be darker. So let's actually make this one a bit slimmer. So like this, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
one, two, three, okay. And here we should go from this one. So one, two, three, one, two, three, to this one, which is going to be darker. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so here we go all the way to the bottom. In here we do the same thing. So we go from this one to this one, two pixels smaller, like this. In here we go like this. Here we go one, two, three, one, two, yeah, looks good. And this is going to make the shadow smaller on all side, sides, sides, but bottom, which is the look that I'm going for because usually shadows are cast it from top to bottom so the bottom is a bit darker it's very hard to notice the difference I think let's try to see it in practice on a notification if there's any uh, difference that we can actually see Hello, notification. Notify send. Ah, yes, uh, I've turned off notification. Okay, like this. Yeah, it's nothing that you can actually notice. Can we actually do this trick going from different opacities? Like, what if we if we change this one, the other one changes as well? So we cannot. We have to rely on making on making stuff like this. One, two, three. This is just a test. One, two, three. One, two, three. Why is it different? Uh, this one should be here. Okay. It's still different. This goes from 20, this goes from 20, okay, no. Okay, like this, and like this, okay. Okay. And this is just a test. Let's restart Plasma Shell. Not if I send. Yeah, you can see that the bottom looks a bit darker. So now, instead of going on by trial, let's actually try out, uh, let's actually pick up uh, material shadows as a reference. Okay, let's edit the last one, this one, we should be fine with just one shadow, which is, uh, I don't remember which, I, I had like tweaked it a bit to my liking last time I tried it, maybe it was the other one. No, I think it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, it looks nice, maybe a bit lighter. Yeah. So we can't quite do this exactly, I think. But we can try to do something similar. The card radius, please give me five pixels. 
thank you now let's zoom in okay something like this let's pick it up with a screenshot actually yes but on a white background please so it's easier to see the shadow and let's throw it in the SVG as a reference pick up the grid for a second please okay thank you okay so something to note is that it goes the change is not quite on the corner but after the corner it becomes darker can we do something like that I remember trying that out and ending up with a mess so maybe not but we can also try to replicate some a shadow like this one in Inkscape let's make an Inkscape object something a bit better than this thing please okay It's a pity that we can't use this thing here. We need to play with gradients and stuff. Wouldn't it be bad to have something like, something like this, even a bit lighter? Okay. Here, this is how I do it. Okay, so what if we try to replicate this? So let's do this and this. This is not going to work, right? No, oh, it worked. Nice. Okay. So here we should have an object that's. Let's make this this big with a gradient going from bottom to top like this okay with uh, let's make I don't know a couple of steps maybe uh, no it's just one it's going to be fine this one okay so let's start with the starting shadow let's change the background to white otherwise it's going to be much more difficult okay so this one starts off i mean we can just pick no we can't pick the color uh, wait Okay, and can we have the gradient on the left side of it, please? Thank you. Okay, like this. Let's start converting this into... Um, 
Okay. Yeah, similar. Then where is the other gradient here? Okay. Here it's much lighter. Sorry. This one is going to be tough to actually find. Yeah, okay. And then at the end, it should become transparent but here this one is the best one but maybe it is a bit faster to become transparent let's pick our like this okay no it's not working <laughs> Uh, so here is darker. You know what, what we can do actually? We could make this automatic. I could write a small Python scripts that just starts from the center and then tells me exactly how transparent it is. Yes, let's do this. Why not? It's going to be more effective than doing this by hand for sure. Okay, so do we like this shadow? I think I do. Yeah, I like this shadow. So let's try to go with something like this. Duplicate, bigger, red border, thin red border, please, much thinner. Okay, like this. And then we export this as an image with a good quality. Why isn't this a square? It should be a square, shouldn't it? Yeah, never mind. Okay, so let's pick this one and export in home sketches. Where is it? Sketches shadow generator tar dot no shadow one dot png export and now we start working on the python script i'm going to use by game because it's the one i know the most sketches shadow generator and we've got our pretty shadow okay so let's write the script dot by and it's going to be super simple stuff, just getting the opacity of the shadow at any point, in, any point starting from the center and going in nine directions all around. Eight, eight directions, sorry. Okay, so let's go with import pegging. Not found. Uh, hmm. I know that there are some better libraries for managing images, but 
it's just a quick script. I'll just go with what I know works. Okay, so the game image open. It's not like this, is it? The game open image. Yeah, for now I won't use you. I mean, if I write the script correctly, I can just take any image of a shadow on white and then generate the correct gradients. So pgame.image load shadow one dot png shadow equals okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit used to C plus plus at this point adding commas. Um, so now let's actually do, let's do um, the vertical axis for X in range, shadow height, I mean vertical Y, range shadow high, print Y. There's no height. Uh, is it like surface? Returns a surface by um, by game four hundred book update. Okay, thank you. But um, by game surface, I don't remember the height. Uh, ah, it's get height. I, I bet it's get height. Yep. Okay. And we can set x to shadow get width divided by two like this nice and we can get the RGB transparency of um, shadow get at X Y and print those very nice as you can see why isn't it white? White, white? Should be white. FC, oh, come on. I got the color wrong. Whoops. Okay. Also, this doesn't seem white. Let's go back to the Okay, so first of all, this one. Fill. FFFF. With 100% opacity. And let's also make a background one. I mean, uh, we already did this one. White. Like this. 100 opacity. Like this. Okay. So let's port, ex export this again. Big as before shadow one okay go for it okay okay better so at this point we can just say if r equals g equals b then uh, we do our stuff which is well, let's go with, I mean, we can use G to say gray instead of green, because in this case, the color of gray is actually the same as the green, okay? So let's print G, okay? And now the part that we are interested in, of course, are those which are not white. So let's print if uh, equal and which is different to this one and we get this okay and let's also x tag y tag this so interesting stuff so you can see that the size of the shadow goes from here to here and this is our shadow it goes from on the top okay so let's uh, how do we do this I don't know let's use a dictionary 
vertical shadow us and we can say vertical shadows y equals g and then we can extrapolate like we calculate from the beginning to the end and we interpolate like 10 points in between yeah, makes sense. So we can actually check uh, if the this thing then do this else a leaf uh, y minus one in vertical shadows, which, which means that a shadow has just ended. Let's see. Okay, so we've got two shadows, so the shadow ends two times, correct? And we can, we now can interpolate here 10 points. So we also need the start of the shadow. Uh, so, okay, let's put start equals none. If start is none, I mean, we can do uh, start equals uh, start or y. And here we reset the start. Print start. Epsilon minus one is the end. And then we reset the start. And we've got the size of the shadows. Let's actually do and equals. Uh, pre um, let's, let's use Python. 3.8 yes now let's interpolate 10 points let's start with 4 actually so um, let's work so or P in range four. We can calculate this step. Actually, let's go with points well equals four. And uh, let, we can go from start to end with the step start, I mean, end minus start divided by points okay like this these are the coordinates of the four point that we interpolate in equal I mean distances and we write the vertical shadow of that point as a percentage please so um, divide by multiply by Okay, let's also round this value and let's save it somewhere. Gray opacity actually. <laughs> nice. Actually, it's one minus that. Okay, so it goes from 7 to 4 to 2 to 1 to 0. So we can see that it's not linear. Linear. We can, act, we can actually do more points, I mean. 10 points. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. Let's round to, I don't know, 2 figures. Okay. So we've got our gradients, a 10 point gradient. Can we actually draw this with by game? I don't think so. Can we actually generate a gradient for Inkscape? 
let me think. I mean, let's do this for all direction first, I guess. But I mean, you can see that the bottom one is stronger. It's actually almost double 16 opacity. Mm, this is weird. Looks wrong to me. Maybe the first pixel is like, what is it? Melding, it, man, yes, there's this faulty pixel. Okay, so we should probably avoid the very first one. So start plus one. Um, let's pick y minus one, okay, let's minus two. And start is going to be y plus one, like this. How is... How are we... And then start. What's that? How is start none? Well, don't know. Okay, so. Okay, it looks better now. And let's actually draw this on Desmos. Not 3D, the normal Desmos, thank you. I'm such a mathematician, like, let's draw it on Desmos, let's make a graph of it. <laughs> Why? Well, because we can. So let's actually draw not P, but P minus start, like this. So we can see the bottom shadow, okay? And where is it? Sorry. Okay, so how can we just copy paste the values? Can you, ah. I need to create a table, uh, new table. I don't want to do them by hand, please. Hmm. Okay, so we need this nice and we've got the graph of our shadow it's weird that it doesn't end in zero but I mean 1.57 okay so can we actually draw the line of best fit? I don't remember how it was. Uh, Nope.
better, much better. Okay, so this is what the computer suggests for this shadow. Whereas what we are doing with our shadow is just start from 20, then go to, where is it? 10, halfway, and then zero. So we can actually plot that one as well. It's cool that it ends at 100, is it by accident or? Yeah, seems so. Okay, so we can start a new table, which is uh, 0, 20, 50, 10, 100, 0. Of a different color. which I mean makes sense, but this shadow is bound to be prettier. So yeah. And the top one is um, how do I say it? The, the top one is lighter. Okay. So this one is the bottom one. I've picked it as an example, but we also need to see the left and right ones. And of course, we also should also see how to transition to those. Not easy. But I mean, as soon as I have the four borders, I should be able to like do the transition. So let's do the borders now. That's actually rough in a very ugly way, just copy paste the thing. Points I wanted this to be on my vertical shadows is going to be horizontal as well. Now we just flip width and height. We flip this one and the rest should be the same. So it goes, it's kind of symmetric, kind of. The left side seemed to be weaker. Why is that? I thought it was going to be symmetric on the left and right side. it's so the same that it doesn't even pick up the difference yeah a bit weird is my Python script drunk or probably it's picking up the color just right next to it Uh, annoying which one of you is doing this not you Okay, I don't know. Okay. 
So in our SVG, now we can take off this and this. Please. And we can just work on this one. Let's turn up the grid again. How many points can we have? I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or more simply, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go with five. Where is it? Too many Python around me. Too much Python, sorry. Okay, let's go with five. Five points. I said five points. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's pick this one. So we can, let's start top with this one. Let's make the gradient all until the end. And let's work on How uh, do I? Not too much, way too much. I said one. What did I say? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so yes, yes, yes. Okay. We need more points. Thank you. One, two, three. Why did it disappear? I said. One, two, one, two. Three, four, come on, I can't count anymore. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, yes, we've got all the points. This one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it goes from 12 to 7.8, 7 7.8 to 4.8. One point nine two zero point four maybe okay very bad <laughs> what happened what Uh, I said, how much did I say? 12.16. Okay, this is the left shot. What? Okay, this is the left shadow. Let's copy paste it for the right one. Like this. We need to give it the right name. It's shadow right, right, shadow left, shadow right. Okay. Now let's do shadow top. And we need one more point here and one more point here. This one here, this one 
here, this one here. Now, this goes. It's this one. 5.88 2 3. Point what? 3.5 2 2.35 Two zero point three nine two zero. Okay, top one, bottom one. Goes from now nah, this one. Seventeen dot six ah, I mean I didn't create all the points, sorry. New points here and here that are seventy then where is it? This one is thirteen point seven. Then nine point four five point eighty eight three point fourteen Why there are six of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Okay, so let's now try to sketch up the edges. So here Okay, let's Okay, so let's make this one same as this one roughly. So as we said before, what is it? Starts from 11. No, we've done this one. Starts from 12.1. Then goes Why are there six of them? Come on. How did I not notice that there are six? Two, I guess, roughly. Um, not roughly. 5.3. 4.3. Okay. Two, zero. Okay. Like this. And then, of course, we need to make this one smaller to accommodate for the change of... Okay, looks almost right. Almost. Let's copy paste this one. And give me the shadow top right ID. This is mostly a test, I think. Top left ID. I think I'll do a Python script that reads it a bit better without those confusion of points and also draws it and generates the SVG automatically. So let's make this one as well. Roughly, very roughly, this goes from 
seventeen nine like this kind of kind of We kind of have the shadow that I wanted. Could be worse. It's not like I wanted it to be, but could be worse, really. Is this the one we've drawn? It doesn't look bad. A bit weird, but not bad. Okay, so I'll keep working on the Python script and see if I can make it even more perfect. It's an interesting concept for sure. Okay, so I'll keep you updated. <laughs>